How are you doing guys? Welcome to TGTV. So in this one I'm just going to show you some of the details of edit view and I'm going to be looking at the amps within this unit. Now there'll be no sounds on this one, it's just a show of the menu of what you come to expect from this unit. If you're new to this unit or you're thinking of buying it, it just gives you a nice little idea of what you can expect with some of the editing in there. Okay, so I'm sure you've noticed that you've got the home button there. So if we just hit view, we'll go into edit view. Okay, now when you get to a blank preset that's yet to be edited, you will see this particular amp that's been chosen. Okay, what I would do, I would actually take a nice look at the manual to get an idea of what some of these names of these amps signify, you know, in terms of which amp they're based on. Okay, and uh, what we're going to look at here, so we'll blow the amp itself. So you use this wheel to go along the amp and effects chain, but at the bottom here, with the dial, the bottom dial, you can actually change the amp that you have there. Okay, so I'm just going to show you all the way along. That starts with a high watt model. And um, as I say, just have a look at the manual to know what these names mean. But it starts with clean and it gets all the way to high gain at the end. So you're starting to get towards the, the kind of the crunchy stuff in the middle. Obviously, you've got some boogie stuff there. Soldano, PV. You've got some license classics in there. And you've got some of the bass stuff at near the end as well. Then you get to the preamps. Okay. So there's loads and loads of choice there. Okay. Well, let's just pick one of these amps and uh, let's just get a bit of an idea of what the menu looks like for the tones. Okay. So we're going to look at this plexi. So some of them have different sections here that you can edit. Just bear that in mind as well because they're based on different amps with different um, things to do on them. Okay. Now you'll see the dots there, they now signify the pages for the amp edit, okay? So obviously those ones make sense then, you've got the dials that connect with them below, okay? And you just move along and you get to these settings here. So again, just have a look in the manual what some of these things mean. Obviously they're based on the valve amp and some of the things that valve amps do and the characteristics, okay? And I'll just show you another amp as well, just to show you some of the differences that you can see some of these amps okay let's look at this one you can see straight away it's got the just the one uh, drive there and you've got it really being a boogie amp you've got some of the eq on there as well let's just have a look at one more let's look at this one so yeah just pretty much standard stuff on there okay and we'll just pick one more just to show you again just something totally different just pick one of the bass amps there. Okay, you've obviously got different mid stuff on there based on that particular amp peg amp. And just the next part I'm going to show you is the cabinets that go along with these amps. Now, obviously a lot of these amps, oh, I'm sure pretty much all of them have a matching cabinet. And what it does on the cabinet section is you basically work your way all along. Now it seems to start with, you know, smaller cabinets to start with, the left hand side, and it just moves its way all along. Now, when you select an amp, let's just pick an amp here. Okay, so got the amp there. I'm just going to move to the cab. It would then select a, a cab that it's either a model of the actual cab for the amp itself that matches it, or something that's extremely similar. So you saw there that you picked a um, you know a boogie style cab. Okay, obviously you've got your cabs there, and you can load in the IRs, which we'll cover in a different video. But um, that's just a bit of an idea of the amp and cabinet edit view. Okay. Now, obviously, in the cab, you've got, based on the cab itself, you've got distance, you've got type of mic on there. I'll go into depth, you know, more into depth on another video on this. But you can also high cut as well. Now, the high cut is handy if sometimes you feel it's a, it's a bit in your face, kind of a bit trebly or a bit too midi. You can uh, cut some of the highs uh, based on different, obviously, dif different sort of frequency on there. And the same with the low cut as well. And you can select distance and some other stuff as well. But I'm just going through some of the basics in this video. I hope you found it handy. Just hit subscribe on the video if you like what I do. And um, just any questions, I'll put my email on there as well. Just send me an email, I'll do my best to help. But yeah, thank you for listening. And uh, just check out my tone shop as well for this unit. I'm adding new stuff all the time. But yeah, take care of yourselves. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.